and that's working. All right, so um, we've got a battery over here. That symbol right there. The minus symbol means the negative side, and sometimes they have, um, most of the time, ground wires are black. And then on this side of the battery, we have positive, and 90-something percent of the time, they're red. And then we come over to my daughter's car over here, and her battery is hidden underneath this box. So she got a lot of corrosion on her battery, which we got to wind up cleaning with baking soda. So this side has a plus symbol. See how these wires are not red? So sometimes they're not always red. A lot of people go, oh, the red wires are positive and the black wires are negative. But it's got two black wires on it on the positive side. And then we have our negative wire. Now this is important to know because when we set up our jumper cables, we gotta go red to positive and black to negative. So me and Vinny are gonna pick up the jumper cables. We're gonna hold them as separate from each other because if he's holding those together touching when I put it on the battery it's going to cause a short and there's going to be sparks and possibly this wire can catch on fire so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this car first and I'm going to put red on the positive side and on this side I'm going to put it on the negative side now what Vinny's going to do is he's going to take the red nope don't put the black on yet because we're not going to put the black on the battery we're going to put the red onto the battery and now what we're going to wind up doing with the black is we're going to put it on anything metal on the engine because see that black wire on the negative side there's two wires that come in. one goes to the body of the car that makes all the metal in the car negative side and then there's a wire that comes off the battery and goes to the metal part of the engine which makes it also negative don't want to put it on plastic and you don't want to put it on rubber we got to find some good metal surface so usually if you find a bolt or something but I'm gonna put it right to this engine mount make sure our connections are nice and clean I'll put it right on that bolt see if that helps I'll come over here and wiggle these a couple times make sure they're on there good now the car with the good battery you have to start up All right, now we'll go to the good car, and we'll start it up. Now, while this car is running, this component right here called the alternator is like a uh, generator. It's going to generate electricity, which is going to keep our battery charged, and electricity is going to flow through these cables, and it's going to charge that battery up by that alternator. And sometimes it takes two or three minutes to get that battery to be charged enough to start the car up. So uh, we'll give it a minute or two. All right, so what I'm going to do now, it's taking a long time for that car to charge, is that I'm going to raise up the RPMs to about 2,000. I'm going to hold it there. And what that's going to do is make my alternator put out more electricity so more electrons flow through to charge the battery even faster. Now one of the reasons why you want to put your ground over here is because when a battery is dead, they can produce hydrogen gas. And if you have a spark around the battery, that hydrogen gas can explode. So it's a lot safer to wind up putting your negative cable not on the battery. So we've had this charge for about three minutes or so. We're going to see if it starts up. Okay, so we've had the car charging for a little bit, and let's see if it jump starts the car now. And she cranks up and she's running. Shut the radio off. Now, a lot of reasons why cars' uh, batteries go dead is sometimes they leave these little map lights on. They're on right now because the door is open. Let's see what happens when we shut the car door. Nope, they went off, so that's good. Another sometimes is cars have this little dimmer switch on them, and some people uh, hit them all the way up, and there's a little click that keeps the interior light on. A lot of your modern cars won't have these problems. They know if you leave something on after like 
10 seconds of you being away with the key, everything just shuts down. But older cars, like, you know, from the 90s, early 2000s, you could leave these map lights on. If you leave your glove box open, the light inside there will stay on. Those would be things that would make your battery go dead. Or in this case, like this battery, it's just got a ton of corrosion on the wires. But definitely, if you, if you found something like that, like a light was left on, let the car run for like 20 minutes and uh, the alternator should charge it back up and you should be fine. So let's go back out and look at our connections and go over some of the key points of this. So some of the key points of doing this is putting your negative onto a nice piece of metal of the body of the car and not put it on the battery because you can cause a spark. Positive goes to the red Red cable goes to the positive side of the battery. Black cable goes to a, a nut or a bolt. Once again, black clamp goes to the negative side. Red goes to the positive. The name of this component, which is called the alternator. If you're driving and your battery light goes on, 99% of the time your alternator has gone bad and you only got about five minutes left of driving time. All right, but that's, this could get you, this little assignment here can get you out of a jam. Now at school, this happens all the time. Kids drive to school in the morning, it's dark, they leave something on in the car, and at the end of the school day, they go to start their car and their battery is dead. You should keep a set of jumper cables in your car. It's one of those safety things, but we'll go over that in class, like key things you should leave in your car. All right, guys, until next time.